All right, so today we are going to be expanding our knowledge on East Ferris and their water shortage issue. Um, we have received another message from Mayor McKnight um, giving us a little bit more information about um, why East Ferris does not have as much water as West Ferris does, um, even though some of their conditions or variables are the same. So this has prompted me to inquire how do how does rain form? How do rain droplets form? So I'm going to today with my scale and my cup and some ice cubes show you a super simple um, uh, science experiment that you can do at home. So all you need is a cup and if you have a scale um, you might need a, to use a scale because we are going to need so many ounces of water. So I have my scale set to ounces. You're first going to take your glass and fill it up with some water. I'm going to fill that about halfway and put it on my scale. So I only have 4.9 ounces. I need just a little smidge more water. Seven. You keep doing this. 8.5. We're just going to get a little more splash. And that we're just going to dump out just a smidge. Perfect, nine ounces. So here we have our nine ounces of water. Looking at the cup right now, it's just a clear glass of water. There's no um, droplets except for the ones from my fingers. My fingers are wet. Um, there, the glass seems like it's everything's room temperature. So we are now going to take ice cubes and I have some regular ice cubes. I'm going to put three ice cubes in my glass. And this one's broken, so I'm gonna wait. And while you're waiting, you might wanna give your cute puppy an ice cube. Take it back, sir. Say hi to your fans. And you're gonna wait. Maybe stir it around. The glass, remember guys, is the temperature of the air around us. But the water is getting cooler. You might need to swirl it around a couple of times. And actually, what would help best with that is taking a knife and just stirring the water a couple of times until you start to see some change on the outside. Do you guys see how that right there on the glass, it's starting to get a little foggy? I'm going to keep stirring see if you guys can see any more of that. Baxter says, where are the ice cubes? He does not like the science experiment. Alright, do you guys notice that on the outside right there, there's some condensation it looks like happening. And it, you can kind of see the water dripping down. So, I want you to make a prediction. What is happening with the ice cubes, the water, and the glass? And why is this fog uh, appearing on the outside? What part of our earth system might this affect? 